All right, our next use case deals with variable heights. Again, I'm starting off with an empty body tag and no styles. All right, let's start with a simple scenario, placing two items side by side. Now I have a div tag with a class container. Within the div tag, two more div tags. The first one has a class of item one and the second div has a class of item two. The text for item one is this is a flex item and the text for item two is going to be a really long paragraph. You can see that it's pretty lengthy. Now in the CSS, I'm going to add a font size to the container class. I'm also going to add a background color to the individual item classes. Item one and then item two. Now if I save this and then refresh the browser, you can see that the second item is below the first item. However, we need them side by side. For that, we make use of float. Let's go back to the CSS. For item one, we are going to add a property float left. For item two, we are going to add a property float right. Now, if I save this and refresh the browser, you can see that it is still not right. To fix this, we need to set the width for each item. So item one is going to have a width of 30% and item two is going to have a width of 70%. Now refresh and you can see that they are finally beside each other. But hang on, the height is not the same for both the items. And this has been a common issue, getting equal height on the children of a container. Thankfully, Flexbox easily solves this. So let me show you the changes. I'm gonna go back to the CSS and I'm going to remove these unwanted styles, float and width. Instead, all we need is the display property on the flex container set to flex. So display flex. Now, if I refresh, you can see that the items are beside each other the width is automatically set to content width and the height of both the columns are also equal. So with just one property, we are able to achieve columns of equal heights in Flexbox. Now a similar scenario is when we are dealing with card footers. So let me show you with an example. I'm gonna go back to Visual Studio Code and then in the index.html, I'm going to copy paste the HTML. So you can see that first we have a div tag with a class cards. Within this div tag, we are going to have two cards. So div class is equal to card and div class is equal to card. The card body has a paragraph tag with some text inside. And the footer also has some text. The second div tag has a very lengthy paragraph as the card body, but the footer still remains the same, the text footer. And when I go back to the browser and refresh, you can see that the two cards are one below the other. We definitely want them beside each other. So I'm gonna go back to the CSS, clear this out, and add the class cards with display set to flex. Now you can see that the cards are beside each other. Next, let's add a few properties to the card class. So I'm gonna go back to the CSS and I'm going to paste the styling. So on the card class, we have a font size of 1.5 rems, a border, a margin, aligning text to the center, the display property set to flex, flex direction set to column so that they flow from top to bottom. And on the card footer, we have simply a padding of five pixels and a background color of F1, F1, F1. Now, if I refresh the browser, you can see that we have two cards beside each other. But we can clearly notice that the footer is not where we want it to be. The placement of the footer is completely dependent on the body content. So you can see that the footer is at the very bottom in card two, but in card one, 
the footer is not sticking to the bottom. Now this is a very common issue when you deal with cards without Flexbox module. But with Flexbox, all we need is the flex property on the card body set to one. I'm gonna go back to the CSS, card body flex set to one. We are basically telling the body to grow to fill up the space wherever possible. So refresh the browser and you can see the result. The footer alignment is same in both the cards. Now typically you find these type of card layouts with for example shipping addresses in e-commerce sites and a product information where you have a product image, product description in the card body and then a buy now button as the card footer. So you definitely don't want either the shipping address height or the product description to completely mess up your footer alignment. So by setting flex to one on the card body, the footer gets pushed down to the very bottom. All right, so you can see that Flexbox plays really well with unknown heights.